Life is a waterfall. The one in the river and one again during the fall. Swimming through the void, we hear the word. We free ourselves and we find it all. Cause we are the ones that want to play. Always love to go and we always get to stay. Always want to play, but you never have to lose. Angels in the sky, when you free your mind, you free your life. Life is a waterfall. Drink from the river, then we turn around and be at our thoughts. Swimming through the void, we hear the word. We free ourselves and we find it all. Cause we are the ones that love to play. Always love to go and we always get to stay. Need not choose, always get to play, but you never have to lose. Angels in the sky, when you free your mind, you free your life. Angels, so. Begin by finding a comfortable meditation posture in which you can be relaxed and alert. If you are sitting upright, make sure your back is straight but not tense. Carefully place your hands in your lap and gently close your eyes. Now, take a deep breath and let the outside world fade away as we embark on this journey of self-discovery. As you settle into your relaxed state, Bring your awareness to your breath. Inhale deeply, feeling the air fill your lungs and exhale. Release any tension. Now reflect on your ascension journey. 
Acknowledge the steps you've taken, the challenges you've overcome, and the growth you've experienced. Success on this path extends beyond external achievements. It encompasses the profound changes within. With a clear understanding of your journey, set an intention for this meditation. Visualize your goals on the ascension path both short-term and long-term. Envision yourself radiating with the energy of success in your spiritual evolution. Recognize that success is continuous and evolving and it's guiding you towards greater enlightenment. Shift your focus inward. Tune into the subtle energies that accompany success on your ascension journey. Imagine a radiant light that is surrounding you, symbolizing the positive vibrations of growth and achievement. Allow this light to permeate every aspect of your being. Aligning you with the higher frequencies. Associated with success. Feel gratitude for the transformative power within you. Focus on this gratitude for a few moments and enjoy the inner peace it evokes. As we prepare to arise from meditation, gently bring your awareness back to the present moment. Recognize that success is an ongoing process. And as you continue on your ascension journey, Detach from specific outcomes. Understand the true essence of success lies within. And when you are ready, slowly open your eyes, carrying the recognition of success on your spiritual path into the world around you. Hi everyone, my name is Roxanne and I am going to be doing today's card reading for the Sunday service. The oracle cards I will be pulling is Divine Abundance Oracle Cards by Tosha Silver. 
So I've already pre-shuffled the cards and I will get started with the first one. The card is Your Path. Dear Lord, help me trust that there's a plan far beyond what I can see through my fears and illusions. So what I feel from this card is that, you know, oftentimes you will have a desire or a goal in your heart, um, whether that be um, attaining union with your twin flame or, you know, having a house, having a family, whatever that desire is, God will put that in your heart and he's also going to give you the path uh, to follow in order to achieve that desire. Um, but it's important to not just be focused on, you know, having the thing or the goal because it really is a journey. It's a process to having all the, your desires. And sometimes you're going to be faced with, you know, challenges or fears that are going to try to pull you away from what you're going for, you know, which is really your heaven on earth. And it's important in those moments that you, you know, continue to focus on the steps in front of you and loving yourself there. Um, and not just to be focused on the goal because um, true success is when you are just taking one step in front of the other and, you know, walking with God um, in the direction of your dreams. So, you know, it's important to to be present with what is in front of you and just honoring the steps that are being given to you. The next card is right now. And I feel like this one fits perfectly with the card that we just, um, that I just pulled. Stay in the present and don't get too far ahead of the flow. You'll soon trust that nothing more will come than can be handled in each moment. And so, yeah, this to me feels like really taking the time to enjoy the journey. Um, one thing that I have really learned on my twin flame journey is to slow down and not just look at the goal that I want or the thing that I'm, you know, moving towards, but also like really being present in each moment, you know, feeling my feelings properly. Um, you know, noticing the flowers, noticing the sunset, enjoying a good meal. It's so important to ground and to bring your presence and attention and focus to the moment right now, because at the end of the day, that's all we have, right? And I do feel in my heart that successful people are the ones who are able to find joy and peace in the moment right now and really take good care of themselves along the way because if you uh, leave yourself in order to attain a goal, then you know it won't really be fulfilling when you do arrive there. So enjoy the moment, enjoy the present. And the last card is Inner Child. So let's see what it says. Allow me to give compassion and love to that little one. Let me attend to its deepest needs and feelings. Yeah, um, I feel like children have a lot to teach us and our own inner child has so much to teach us about life. And it kind of goes with the card I just, uh, you know, showed you, which was right now. It's about being present right here, right now with your inner child. Your inner child has so much desire and passion and joy for life and it's important not to leave your inner child behind and to really bring it um, in the present, you know, and ask your inner child what it needs right now to feel love. This is really important because um, your inner child will tell you, you know, what it needs right now. Maybe it's just nurturing, maybe it's comfort, maybe it's, you know, a lot of play. Um, so just allowing that to, um, to come up and feel through all of your feelings that your inner child might be feeling right now. And that will really help you again to be more present and ground into the moment as you are, you know, moving towards your desires. So you just, you really don't want to leave this part of yourself behind. 
you want to make sure that you are giving yourself all the love that you need in each and every moment as you walk towards your um you know your union or your goals okay so that is all for the card reading today i hope that you relax and enjoy the rest of the sunday service Hello everybody, welcome to today's Sunday service. I'm Drake and I had the pleasure of introducing Lorentu and Alexandra in their sermon on success. And it was, it was really beautiful. I really enjoyed it because, you know, it reminded me of, of my journey. I was to the person going, oh my goodness, why am I not having success on my journey? This person is having success in this place this person is doing this on their journey, but here I am and nothing's really going on. And it took me back to that time because I really had to recognize, oh, well, success is so much more than just what you see on the outside, right? And how they were talking about, it's just a choice. You, you make a choice and that's your success. And that's really what kept me going throughout my journey is knowing that my choice is extremely powerful. And making that same choice every single day is leading me closer and closer to my success, right? I don't even have to see anything in my reality to know that I am successful because just making the choice is success already, right? Just choosing love, just choosing what's in alignment with your divine self, which is in alignment with your relationship with God, right? That's success. And I thought that was really beautiful. And it really reminded me of my journey with my car you know before i had my brand new car that i have now i had this really not not so good car the ac didn't work it was like 23 years old just not a fun thing to drive around but when i finally made the choice and i was 150 percent clear in my consciousness that i wanted and i needed a new car uh you know the next day i i went i went to a dealership they even told me too, oh, you, you weren't supposed to be approved for this, but we still approved you. You know, it was kind of like, God was giving me that go ahead, you know, because I chose and, the, and then the door was completely open. And, you know, what it also reminded me too of, this is something that just literally just happened to me, but I was working through my old job and I'm still in the process of working through it and letting it go. But I finally came to the choice of, you know, I need to leave this job. It's time to leave. It's not in alignment with me or my values. It's taking from me. It's it's not giving to me. And so I said, you know what, God, I'm I'm going to choose to leave this job. And this is what I want. These, these are the things that I want. So I went on the job website, right? Start pressing all these buttons. Boom, boom, boom applying to places a few days didn't really hear anything back so I was kind of getting a little discouraged but I said you know what I'm gonna keep going I'm gonna keep applying right I'm not gonna give up here because I know that I I'm making a new choice and I was at work this one day and something had happened at work and I go yeah I I'm I'm really leaving like this is this is it and I pulled up my phone at work and I the first job that I saw, I was like, oh, okay, this this is in my pretty range, boom. Let me just, let me press to, you know, give them my resume. Kid you not, 15 minutes later, they messaged me back and they said, hey, can you come in for an interview uh, this day? Couldn't go that the, the day, you know, after that, cause I got like really sick, but I said, you know what, I'll come in on this day. Went in on that day and they were like, you know what? We can give you the hours you want. We can give you the pay that you want. And it was really like a step up, you know, I, I work in a kitchen, so uh, it's a big step up, has a lot more burners, has a lot more fryers, you know, I, I don't, you guys probably aren't, a lot of you probably aren't cooks, but that's okay. J just know that I was working at an eight burner stove and now I get a 20 burner stove, okay? So that's that's that upgrade that I was getting, you know, they wear chef coats, they're, they're more professional, not saying that my old work wasn't, but you know, you can see that it was that high vibe and it was that high vibe because that's what I was choosing. And so the success though, it wasn't that I got that, that job interview and that job, the success was, oh, I recognize, hey, this part of my life isn't feeling good. I'm going to choose otherwise, right? I'm going to choose love here. And if that means leaving this job, then so be it. If it means staying at this job because there's more love here, 
let me do that. But it was ultimately the decision I came to myself and I said, you know what, God, show me if I'm supposed to leave this job or not. And boom, I had that clarity, made that choice, and then it led to that, right? And that's how this journey happens a lot of the times. You just make that choice, you get that clarity, you get that next step, you do it, and the door is wide open, right? That's how powerful we are. And, you know, that's the success of this journey. You know, like like they were talking about too, they said, you know, your success isn't measured by what happens. You know, it, your success is measured perfectly for you on your journey, right? Everyone's journey is different and you can't judge someone's journey based on your own and what's happening because it's not, it's not the same as yours. You have, there's different lessons, different things that you have to learn and it's perfect for you at that time. And so that really resonated me and brought me back to like, you know, kind of my relationship with God and just the trust that I have in, in that direction and the trust that I have in myself to know that I am choosing success and I am choosing to follow love and that's what's going to lead me to the ultimate success, right? You know, your your ultimate job, your your ultimate lover, right? Your twin flame, your ultimate life. It just starts with one simple choice. So now I'm gonna introduce Alexandra and Lorenzo. And so enjoy and I'll see you afterwards. All right, bye. Hello everybody, we Laurentiu and Alexandra, we're Executive Ministers of the Church of Union. Let us begin today's Sunday's sermon with our three opening ohms and then our opening prayer. As always, you can follow along in your heart or aloud. <laughs> I am the only child of God, forever part of Him. I am created by Him in perfection, and there I always remain. My mind is my sanctuary where I keep His holy creation sacred. I will only allow in His voice. I will only accept His word. Today I will hear the word of God. I surrender myself to His teachings through His divine channel. I will honor what he has spoken and accept it as his will. I will be obedient to his word, for this is my salvation. In Christ's name, Om. Amen. Amen. Welcome everybody. Today we wanted to talk to you in this sermon about success and how do you know if you're having success on this spiritual twin flame ascension journey, right? Um, as unionism, uh, <laughs> as unionists, um, we know that we are on a spiritual journey, uh, and we're here to ascend, to come closer to God. So therefore, we we're still living an earthly life. Uh, we're here on very earthly, three D looking chairs. We have not transcended through like the light plane or something. Does that mean that we don't have success just yet? Just because we haven't, you know, been transformed into life and went up in the sky or something. Um, well, no, we're going to talk about success and what it looks like to have success as um, as a unionist um, and as um, being somebody who uh, want to to ascend, right? Obviously, um, being like close to God, um, being um, ascended, being in perfect union with God is, um, you know, our goal is um, the destination. But as we know, it's not always about the goal, the destination, it's about the journey. Um, and one of the things that I'm learning and going deeper with uh, in myself and with each other um, in approaching 
things that come up on the ascension journey um, is um, being just uh, loving towards ourselves, being kind towards ourselves and finding deeper joy and happiness in just the process and in, in being on the journey, being on the ascension journey, being on uh, this like um, to inflame ascension path uh, and uh, going towards perfect union with, you know, with God, with our twin flame, um, with everything really. So we wanted to talk about success because it's very easy to maybe like compare yourself or uh, look at other people's journey and be like, oh, maybe they're doing better or like it's, uh, it's, uh, they have something that I don't, maybe they have their twin flame in their lives, so therefore they, it means that they're doing better in some way, or, oh, look at that, like, the, even if I'm with my twin flame, like, that, that person has a better relationship with their twin flame than I do, so they must be doing something better, right? And while, you know, you know, it, it, there's no real comparison, right? Mm-hmm. And this, the comparison can really, um, you know, not only like make you feel bad right but kind of stifle your your growth and your own appreciation for how your journey looks um in truth uh, the way it's like we approach the the sanction journey is the same right like there's only one lesson and we have been taught this from the very beginning it's loving ourselves uh, that's the lesson throughout everything but the way that each and every one of us goes about that lesson is uh, particular because we have individual um you know individualities you know we are unique uh, children of god so therefore in that sense our path towards god is unique because uh, we have a unique relationship with god so the way that my relationship with God and my relationship with Laurentio looks might be very different than the way that um, yours looks. Yours looks like, especially externally, right? So while we we're on the same path, like we're on the same journey and we walk mm-hmm. the same path together and we apply the same principles um, in everything that we're doing, it's gonna look different. So that's why. Um, if you have like any association uh, in your mind about success and kind of comparing yourself with um, different people, um, I invite you to to let that go. Now, mm-hmm. it doesn't mean that you live in this bubble where um, uh, there's somebody who has something that you have, like that you desire, and you become kind of like, oh well, it doesn't matter or anything. Like there is a purpose why that's happening as well is to inspire, to teach mm-hmm. you, to to help you grow, right? But um, it's not there to you know make you feel bad, right? That's the that's the point I'm trying to make. Mm-hmm. Yeah, really, the success that you're seeking is just uh, first of all acknowledging from yourself that uh, as we know in the union is it's about like uh, you making the choice to move forward towards your dream, towards your desire, no matter how that looks like. Mm -hmm. You could say a lot of times that, okay, I'm not having success because I'm not doing this, I haven't done that, things are not looking like this. But none of this really matters, because what really matters is if you made the choice. That's always what uh, we've learned from our teachers, Jeff and Shalia, is that if we made the choice to move forward towards our dream, we are successful. That's the matter of success. If we're making the choice and we're honoring that, we're going towards that. Because just doing that, it's a lot more valuable than you might think. So I may say, okay, it's not valuable because look, I just made the choice, but I don't have the thing. If I don't have the thing, I'm, I'm not successful. But it's not the thing that makes you successful, but the choice. The choice to move forward. Because if you made the choice and you keep going, you're going to get there. Mm-hmm. It's about really allowing yourself to be persistent with your choice, continuing that choice. And that's always beautiful. And I've only experienced this in our life as we've done that. We made the choice to move forward and I'll experience like better and better life because of that. Our life improved. 
and our life feels good because we're honoring that we're making the choice, that we're moving forward. And even if, yeah, maybe we would, would like to have some more stuff in our life, maybe we would like to decorate more, maybe we would like to uh, do a lot more stuff with money, having finances, but that's not really what would make us really happy because then we will just rush after finances to make us happy which that will never really be fulfilled because we're always going to run for that or run for a relationship or whatever like you want to put here to insert here is not that but it's about acknowledging that you're making the choice if you made the choice of course to move forward and that should already bring you happiness and it does for us does bring happiness to know that we're making that choice and we're moving forward and we're moving towards the life of our dreams no matter how it looks like now and if we were to even compare how it looked like a long time ago let's say two years ago our life as we made that choice it definitely improved it definitely like got better but I shouldn't feel bad because at that point I didn't have the thing. But because we felt good about the choice to move forward and we kept at it, we allowed ourselves to grow into more of what we wanted. So that's, I feel like, the beauty of it. You allow yourself to feel good now about your life, then feel good when you get there, when you have that thing. Because that's not really success. That's really like just getting it. And then once you got there, you're like, okay, I want the next thing because I'm, now I'm not happy because I, have the no, because I don't have the next thing, which is not fun. <laughs> it's not really like a divine way, to be honest. Yeah. And this is like the process of, you know, seeing yourself as successful as you grow, as you learn, as you move forward in life, however that looks for you, right? And uh, we were inspired to talk about this because we watched together recently uh, an NPC sermon that it is about this uh, life purpose class ser- sermon in, um, 11 which talks about success right and uh, um, in that sermon I really love that it um, brought me back into this energy of being um, how to say focused on my choice and focused on my decision right is your choice to um, move towards your dream uh, to the best of your abilities right now and if the answer is yes then you are successful you are doing it right now so you see you will receive like the next step that you have to do in order for you to actually manifest what you desire be it uh, for example your um, twin flame in union harmonious union be it you know a next level of maybe like abundance in your life, maybe a house, maybe a car, maybe whatever you're working to manifest kind of physically right now, there's always going to be a next step. And that's also the step that you have to take right now. And are you doing your best to take that step, right? And I really love that in this sermon, um, Jeff and Shulia were talking about, you know, that you don't have to feel good, you know, to know that you're successful. You don't have to like know that, you know, you don't have to have like a certain amount of money or a certain external result or a certain anything to know that you're successful, right? You don't need to like you know, uh, prove anything to anybody in that sense. It's just about that decision and are you doing your best to take the next step that's necessary for you to move towards your dream towards your goal and i really love to kind of just ground back in that right and i think like uh, uh, this is why i wanted to talk about this just to kind of ground back into this very simple core principle of life purpose class which is about um success right because As I mentioned, it can be very easy uh, from time to time to get ungrounded and um, forget or compare, right? Um, Or, you know, your mind to start kind of going in places, right? And this is where it's about really um, 
you know, spiritual perseverance and what is really like about spiritually pers- uh, having perseverance and having a discipline, right? Because um, I'm, I'm kind of getting reminded about something that Jeff and Shulia said at the end of the, the book, you know, Twin Flames Finding Your Ultimate Lover, um, because they were sharing how in the book, you have, you know, everything you need to achieve harmonious twin flame union. Uh, you have all the information, all the tips and tricks, you know, all the, the base, everything that you need, you know. However, they say that if you only like look at the book, um, you might have like some difficulties in manifesting it, uh, your harmonious union, just because you only have the book as a support system. And there's the book versus all the noise in your mind that tells you that being with your twin flame is impossible, right? So that's why there has been like this support system built with you know the community and the teachings uh, to just kind of keep you in a space, um, to just keep reminding you about like just base principles, right? Uh, and this is one of them, right? And I, I really appreciated being reminded of it, you know? Success is just your choice of moving towards what you desire and taking that next step, right? It doesn't matter how it feels, you know, it doesn't matter uh, how good it looks, it doesn't matter how bad it looks, it doesn't matter um, when the dream comes through, it doesn't matter how, all of those things are kind of in God's hands and what is in your control and in your power is your decision and then after the decision is made just honoring to the best of your abilities taking that next step towards um, achieving your goal right achieving your dream however that looks for you and sometimes you know that might look like taking a nap sometimes that might look like you know doing some actual real work sometimes that might look at as um i don't know changing something you know in your life so just to give like an example for uh, from our life um and how to like kind of apply all of these things and just to kind of showcase again that it's all about just taking the next step just choosing just moving towards your dream however that looks for you Um, we were just looking at uh, some things like in our life in our business um, right before, you know, shooting these and, you know, for a long period of time, you know, something was just okay. You know, we were living life and, you know, that aspect of our life was just okay. Right. And then through working through some feelings and looking at, you know, things from different perspective, we were like, oh, this is not okay anymore <laughs> and we need to change here. You know, and that is perfectly okay. You you go in about your life and um, yesterday something was okay. And today you have maybe like a, an upset about it or you have like a deeper realization about it. And you, you have like a change, you know, that is, is, is triggered because of, you know, this, you looking at it, right? So you looking at your life you looking at your dream, you looking at whatever you want to achieve and you being present with that and keep choosing to nurture it and love it to the best of your abilities will bring up um, things for you to kind of naturally change, to improve, to look at. And that's kind of, I feel for me, it's part of the beauty of the journey, right? Because if you don't have like what you desire yet, if you haven't like manifested externally what you desire yet, again, doesn't necessarily mean that you're not successful or, oh my God, you're failing or you, you whatever, you know, might go through your mind, you know, as you, um, you know, have your challenges in this journey. So it doesn't mean that you're not successful. It just means that you're in the middle of the process right of manifesting what you desire and you're gonna have things to work on and this is part of like the beauty of of it for me is like looking at things and you know changing and you should see with each and every change that you feel better you know you 
you are closer to what you desire you are you have more love into your life ultimately and through everything that you're doing you come closer to god right and this is for me um what kind of keeps me going because as we know when we call in something on this spiritual journey uh, the first thing that will come up are all the blocks, you know, and the barriers that we have to face, you know, the lessons that we have to learn uh, in order for us to manifest what we desire, right? So just because you wish for something and then suddenly, uh, seemingly the opposite thing might happen, it doesn't necessarily mean this is wrong or bad or it's everything is going, you know, uh, wrong it just means that you're finally willing to look at what is necessary for you to do to have that in your life permanently right to have for example your twin flame permanently in your life to have the next level of abundance to have whatever you desire so you must face and be willing to face and um the things that are coming up and you're gonna feel uncomfortable and that's something that also Jeff usually I talked in this sermon that, you know, you're going to have to uh, become comfortable with being uncomfortable and moving through challenges and moving through things uh, in the process of you uh, manifesting your dream. Yes, and that's OK. It's safe to move through being uncomfortable. It's kind of like um, allowing yourself to just have that presence with uh, that feeling of uncomfortable is just allowing things to move forward. Resisting that uncomfortable feeling is just you resisting that change. Change sometimes may feel uncomfortable. It's going to happen. But that doesn't have to be the end of it. It doesn't have to be it felt it felt uncomfortable therefore I'm going to stop. Done. No, it's just okay, feel uncomfortable about this. I don't like how the situation currently looks like. But I'm willing to see it, see it through. And something that I really like from that sermon was like um, how Jeff said about like there were, if there are two ideas that kind of come into your mind there about how things to move forward and they might kind of fight in a way with each other for a bit, you just have to let it play out so you can smooth out because you're going to end up with something so much better if you just sit through that uncomfortable feeling about it mm-hmm. instead, of, instead of denying it. Yeah, that happens a lot between twin flames as well. You know, when seemingly you have a fight and you you want something and your twin flame apparently wants something else, it's not that you are different, it's not that you're pulling in different directions, it's that you really have to allow yourself to kind of hash that out with each other, obviously in a way that's compassionate, right? And they don't, you know, pop off at each other. But, mm-hmm. um, through moving through that uncomfortable situation, having the uncomfortable conversation will help you go deeper and discover actually something that's way juicier and more superior as an alternative that, uh, uh, than what either of, of you were initially thinking. That's something that we discover all the time with each other. And usually it's, um, even if it's just like, maybe, yeah, I was, right or law was right you know is through the process we we um through working through that uncomfortable conversation we come to like a place where we feel really solid and stable with whatever we decide to do forward together Mm -hmm. good so that that was the subject and uh, we loved it and i hope you love it as well So I think we're ready to just move on to the uh, closing prayer and the closing alms. As always, you can follow along in your heart or aloud. Father, I accept your word into my heart. I will honor your will in my life and will follow you without hesitation anywhere you ask. I know you guide me into your heart where I belong. I accept that you are everywhere and your teaching is in all things. God, I know you provide me clarity in this teaching of union that I may be forever in union with you. 
I accept that you are in me as you are in my brother. I will not deny my brother your word and will share your teachings with him in any way you ask and only as you ask. For when I share my salvation with him, I fully claim my salvation and return to you with him. In Christ's name. Oh, amen. amen. Speaking this prayer in your heart means that you have accepted that you are on the path of awakening to your true divine nature. This is what it means to be a unionist. Follow the teaching of union with God wherever you find them and purify our consciousness into perfect union with your Creator. And now for our closing ohms. Thank you for joining us in this sermon. I hope you enjoyed it and see you uh, next time. See you next time. Namaste. Bye bye. All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. I hope that you enjoyed our sermon as much as I did. It was just really beautiful and Something that came up too as, as I was watching it again was faith, right? Success and faith, they kind of go hand in hand because you need to have faith that everything is, is going to work out, right? You need to have faith in your choice of, mm, I'm choosing this, I'm choosing love, I need to have faith that it's going to work out and I'm going to get where I need to be. And when you have faith, you have everything. It, re it reminds me of this quote, and excuse me if I don't say it completely right, but it's, if you had faith the size of a mustard seed, God can move mountains. And that's from the Bible. I don't know what it is, but that's just a quote from the Bible that just sticks with me. I have it like on my wall <laughs> and I look at it and I just think it's really beautiful. And I think it, it goes with this sermon too, because they're, they both go hand in hand, you know, you, faith on this journey is just so important and, you know, faith leads you to success too, because without faith, you know, you're not, you, yeah, you may have some success, but like you're trusting yourself, you're trusting God, you're having faith in the process, right? You're surrendering, you're relaxing into your journey because that's really what it's all about. It's just relaxing. You know, you don't have to stress out so much and go, ah, is my life working out in the way it was? Am I, am I successful? Yeah, you're already successful if you're here. You're already successful if you're choosing love. You're already successful if you're choosing to heal yourself, right? That's success in itself. You should give yourself credit for that, right? If you're, if you haven't done that lately, give yourself a pat on the back, right? Remind yourself that you're doing good, you're doing very well, and you're on the right path. You're on the right path to love. You're on the right path to ascension and to oneness with God and, and your twin flame. We're doing everything that you, you need to do right. And that's one thing, too, that I took away from this sermon was, hey, you know, you are doing everything right. And hey, if you, you know, veer this way or something's happening over here, that's still okay because you're still learning and your path is perfect for you and you're gonna have success no matter what just it comes with that choice success comes with that choice and it is extremely powerful so yeah i hope you guys that enjoyed and you know make sure i invite you all if you feel called to to tithe to us so we can spread our message of love right we can get across that globally and share it with everybody so everybody can 
taste and, and experience and choose to have their heaven on earth, right? So visit unionism.org. You can check out our past sermons. You can check out our music, our meditations, and you can tithe there too. And make sure that you also join us for after church tea time where we do a live discussion of the sermon, uh, you know, and just our takeaways, everything like that. It's, it's really fun. It's really juicy. And you can join us uh, at, in the unionism discussion group. Okay. So make sure that you join that. And if not, you know, ask for a little invite, but we'll see you then. And God bless you and have a great Sunday. Or if you're watching this later, have a great day. All right. Bye-bye.